place to the ground. Will you stomp his ass out? You're telling me one man did this. The only thing you know is he's a beekeeper. Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2024 action film, The Beekeeper. The film is directed by David Ayer and it stars Jason Statham, Josh Hutcherson and Jeremy Irons. Now the film focuses on Jason Statham's character who's called Adam Clay. Um, he is essentially, at the beginning of the film, living a quiet life. He has been taken in for a very, by a very kind woman um, and he's kind of looking after the bees um, she takes him into her home um, and then very early on in the film she kind of gets scammed by this online uh, company that basically rings you up convinces you to give over your passwords for everything and then they steal every penny you've got um, they take everything that she's ever had all her life savings as well as uh, the money to a charity that she was uh, the head of and she can't live with the shame so she ends up killing herself and Jason Statham's character is not going to stand for this because he is a retired ex-member of a secret government organization called the beekeepers who essentially restore order in the world um, and he's a highly skilled killer and assassin so he decides to uh, take his revenge on those uh, that prey on the weak and the vulnerable um, and this heads this takes him right to the top of the government in regards to conspiracy. Right. What are my thoughts on the beekeeper? Um, Jason Statham is... I think it's fair to say right now, I think Jason Statham is arguably the premier action star in Hollywood. I mean, he just keeps kicking ass, really. Um, and this film's no exception. I, I, I uh, I found this film absolutely thrilling uh, with some of the best action I've seen for quite a while um, and it's a hugely entertaining film on those two merits alone Jason Statham and the superb action that is on display in this film um, there are aspects of this film that kind of uh, don't live up um, and I'm talking a little bit about you know some of the same old cliches that they use in movies like this and the star is a little bit weak here and there and it's it's got a weak villain we've got Josh Hutchison in this film who plays Derek Danforth who's a rich kid um, and he essentially with his spare time he kind of puts these companies together that scam people you know these online companies and it makes literally you know hundreds of millions of dollars a year for the scamming that they do um, and he, but he just comes across as just a spoiled brat really in the film he doesn't feel like a credible villain at all and Jeremy Irons character Wallace Westwood I think he's called something like that he is tasked with really looking after Josh Hutchison's character or keeping him safe or protecting him um, and when Jeremy Irons character finds out that you know he has wronged a beekeeper um, it, it it feels odd really because when they try and do that John Wick thing which a lot of movies do now action films you know when you try and um, in John Wick as you remember in the first film where they tried to describe who John Wick was you know what I mean and they make him sound really awesome and really epic um, and they try and do that here you know when Jeremy Irons finds out it's a beekeeper that is wronged he basically says well you're dead already there's not a great great deal we can do about it and then he tries to do something about it and you just kind of think well you just kind of said that you know the beekeepers are pretty much unstoppable but you're going to try and stop them anyway it just seemed a little bit odd and contradictory but for me i think this film would have been much better if jeremy Irons had actually been the full-on bad guy and he, he comes across in this film as almost like the mediator you know he's not directly getting his hands dirty he's just trying to do a job you know trying to keep Josh Hutchinson's character out of trouble so he's not bad or good really he's just 
I just don't think they utilised Jeremy Irons well enough at all and he would have been a much better villain in my opinion but as it is we get we get Josh Hutchison and that's very much probably the weakest part of the film here but saying that um, I have to say I, I just thought the action was outstanding here um, I mean Jason Statham I mean he nails action scenes anyway and he's he's very very convincing in them and we know he's a skilled martial artist but my god the action is just on another level here I mean he's just taking out people left and right and you know he's sometimes you like to watch an action film and you want to see people you know he wants to be you want it to be realistic you don't want them to be like you know unstoppable um, and sometimes you want to watch an action film where that's what you get where they are seemingly unstoppable and they're just taking out f between five and ten bad guys at once sort of thing in one fight scenes and that's kind of what you get in here with a beekeeper it's full on um, kick ass and he just doesn't mess about and there's he just does some really really awesome stuff in this film you know he's chopping fingers off and strapping people to cars and driving them off bridges and um you know burning i mean these scam companies you know who wouldn't want to drive into them places and then burn them to the ground i mean he's you know he's living the fantasy really in it because we would all love to do that sort of thing um and he, you know he plays the strong silent one here in this film he doesn't say a lot jason statham he's you know he's strong and silent and mysterious and brooding all that kind of stuff but he doesn't have to you know it's not um an acting acting film it's a much more physical role which obviously let's be honest jason statham absolutely excels at um i had a ball with this film i'm not gonna lie i thought it was excellent you know i thought with this being january um you know a lot of people dump the films they don't really think are going to do particularly well in january and that's just the way it's been um so i wasn't expecting a great deal from this even though i thought the trailer looked pretty decent from what i saw um and i'm wrong i, I think this is an excellent start to the year in regards to an action film and i think whatever action films we get this year have got a lot to live up to with this one because it is just um very very exciting to watch um even if it's a little bit predictable even if it is a little bit generic at times um and even if it's a little bit silly too at times but isn't that what action films are supposed to be certainly a little bit silly most of them now are going to be a little bit predictable um so yeah while it doesn't take masses of risks here it's just a well-made action film obviously david ayer you know makes these sort of films you know very regular he knows what he's doing and i think he's created here a really top-notch action film um and i had a really really good time watching this one i was actually you know a buzzing really watching it how ah, did he get that buzzy beekeeper so yeah guys if you want to watch a really solid well-made action film uh, check out the beekeeper i thought it was really really good so thanks for joining me guys i hope you enjoyed this review i'll be back with more reviews and content on the channel very very soon